Today on Sci Guys, Newton's Disc. Welcome to Sci Guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Adam. On today's episode, we're going to be making a Newton's Disc. Unfortunately, we have to sacrifice the air vortex cannon for its cardboard. What? But my air bending! A Newton's disc is a wheel of colors that, when spun, blends the light of those colors together to create what looks like white light. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes markers, and you're going to need at least a red, a blue, and a green, a CD, or something else round, scissors, a piece of cardboard and a piece of paper, or a sturdy paper plate, a pencil and a ruler, and some tape. Although we're not dealing with anything hazardous today, we are using sharp objects, so for our younger viewers, adult supervision is recommended. The first step in our experiment is to use your disc to trace out the shape of a circle on your cardboard and on your piece of paper. Next, we have to divide our wheel into sections. So we'll start by dividing it into quarters. So from a line from top to bottom, and from left to right, now we can divide up the rest of the wheel like the hours on a clock. So we go from 1 to 7, 2 to 8, 4 to 10, and 5 to 11. Now take your red, blue, and green felt pens and use them to fill in the sections of your disc. You're going to want to alternate between red, blue, and green red, blue, and green all the way around until all sections of your disc have been filled in with color. The next step is to cut out your paper wheel and your cardboard wheel. Now tape your paper wheel to your cardboard disc. The final step in preparing our experiment is to push the pencil through the middle of our Newton's disc. You may need to tape the pencil to the disc to ensure it doesn't slip while spinning. With our disc prepared, hold onto the pencil and spin it so that our disc rotates around in circles. If you spin your disc fast enough, you will notice that the colors will begin to blend together into gray or white light. In Newton's original experiment, he colored his disc with all seven colors of the rainbow, instead of only using red, blue, and green. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Every color in the rainbow has its own individual wavelength of light and our eyes can detect each one using color sensing cells called cones. And cones come in three varieties, red, green, and blue, which are the same colors that we used in our Newton's disc. What's interesting about the cones in our eyes is that most wavelengths of light will stimulate more than one type of cone. For example, a yellow wavelength of light that hits the cones in our eyes stimulates green cones and some red cones. Our brain interprets the combination of these signals as the color yellow. In fact, when our eyes detect equal levels of red, green, and blue light, our brain will interpret it as being white light. The sections of our Newton's disc are colored red, blue, or green, and each one produces its own respective wavelength of light. When we spin our disc really fast, the spinning colors rapidly bombard our eyes with all three wavelengths of light, causing them to hit the cones in our eyes at almost the same time. This happens at such a fast rate that our eyes cannot distinguish between the individual colors spinning by, causing our brain to think the three separate wavelengths of light are one individual wavelength of light, effectively causing us to see white light. Because the markers we used were darker shades of blue, red, and green, our wheel produces a light gray color instead of a pure white color. The smaller you can get your disc segments, the faster you spin your disc, and the closer you can get to a full rainbow of colors, the easier it will be to blend the colors together and the closer to white you will be able to blend them into. Well, that's it for Newton's Disc. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Poor Vortex Cannon. We knew you well. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.